Committing to start exercising more is awesome. I'm sure you've heard all the benefits over and over again, right? It might help you lose weight. It can help you tone up and look better. It can decrease your stress. It can help with your mental clarity. There's so many benefits out there that you're only selling yourself short if you're not exercising right now. Now with that being said, it can be pretty tough to make sure that you're doing the right things. And you may have had a lot of questions. Am I doing the right move? Is what I'm doing actually going to give me the results that I want? You know, are you overdoing it the way that you're exercising right now and it's not going to get you the results that you want? Or maybe like, you know, you're wondering, are you even doing enough? Because there's always this sense of like, you know, am I actually getting an, a workout in that's actually going to get me the results that I want? And I think those are awesome questions because it's so important. Like if you are going to start exercising, really the first thing that you need to really figure out is what is your goal with exercising? Because time and time again, I hear, you know, oh, I just want to be healthier and things like that. And that's awesome. Like, hey, if you want to be healthier too, but I would just take it one step further and really try to define what is your goal with wanting to exercise more? Is it to, you know, have more energy? Is it to transform your body? Is it to actually lose weight? Is it maybe even to lose body fat, to gain muscle? Once you kind of have those little more specific goals in mind, rather than to just to be healthier, right? Which is really just kind of like, you know, if we're looking at, you know, business or something like, hey, I just want to make more money. Well, that's great, but how much do you want to make, right? Or, and you know, what's your time frame? Because when you have those specific standards, then you can really make sure that you're getting where you want to go. So with that being said, if you want to lose weight, specifically, if you want to lose body fat, transform your body and start building muscle, these are really the three things that I recommend that you start doing when you exercise. Number one is going to be to do some form of resistance training. So that's where you're doing weights, that's where you're doing bands, right? If you're at home, or that's where you're doing body weight things like planks, push-ups, squats, lunges, all of those things are going to be where you're using your muscles and you're building strength. And what that does is it's going to improve your anabolic activity with your metabolism. That means that you'll be building muscle during that time, right? So that way you're transforming your body. You're not just losing weight by doing a bunch of cardio. And when you're, when you're, when you're in that anabolic state, you're going to be building muscle, right? And you're going to be burning fat for energy. So that's super important because if you do too much cardio and not resistance training, you can actually lose muscle mass, which is not going to get you looking the way that you want. The next thing that I recommend is to use some form of HIIT training. So that's high intensity interval training. That's really where you go really hard at an exercise, like some type of cardio. Usually like my favorite is just to get on like a bike, you know, a stationary cycle, turn up the resistance, go really hard for about 20 seconds and then go kind of nice and slow for about 60 seconds. So what you're doing is you're getting a lot of work in, very intense for just a short period of time. So what happens is you're gonna boost your metabolism because you're working at such a high level. And that can actually boost it throughout the rest of the day. And you don't have to do HIIT training for very long. It's a great way, you know, if you only have about 10 minutes or so in the day to really get a ton of work in in a short amount of time. Some other options that you could do are, you know, people do like really fast jumping jacks or burpees are a good example. Um, you know, getting on, you know, a treadmill and sprinting or sprinting outside and then taking a break. That's where you're really boosting your metabolism, your activity, and then dropping it down. And last but not least, I recommend if you're going to start exercising that you have some accountability because I know how hard it can be, especially if you're starting new things, right? All of us know this. There's always that friction of like, hey, I'm doing this new thing. It's really challenging. And we're going to want to fall back into our bad habits. It's just the way that we are as humans. So when you have that accountability, maybe it's just a buddy, like someone else that wants to start too. And you guys message each other, you know, exactly when you're going to work out. That's what I do. You know, I tell my friend, you know, me and him, every time we work out, I'm like, hey, every day, you know, message each other. So that way we see it and we can like root each other on. It's super important. You can also join groups. I mean, there's Facebook groups. Um, you know, there's so many different groups out there. So that way you're always seeing that positivity in your life. And you can also get, you know, a one-on-one -on -one person to help you that maybe a professional to really guide you and hold you accountable and make sure you're doing the right things. So that is it. Those are the docs orders today to exercise the right way. Now you don't have to do all of those things right away. I would just pick one of them. Pick one of them, start it, and I guarantee you're going to start seeing some massive changes. And I'd love to know in the comments below which one thing are you going to start today.